Right, this is a artistic interpretation of the horn section. The horn section was a very the bedrock of several soul classics over the last 50 years. Um, it was well known to be used in the Memphis sound at Stax with all of the million sellers that came out of Stax. Um, the the um, horn section was known as the Memphis horn section and um, Old Dan I'm Coming, Sawman, Knock on Wood and Dock of the Bay and the list goes on. All these tracks were argumented by horn section known as the Memphis sound or Memphis horn. Next we have the Chicago Soul sound which um, at Brunswick Records as well as at Chess use horn section you hear the horn section on Rescue Me by Fantana Pace and you hear the horn section again with Love Makes a Woman by the late Barbara Acklin um, on Brunswick Records. Then we go over to the, um, let's say the Motown sound or the sound of Young America. Then you hear the horn section Dancing in the Street by Martha Reed and the Vandellas. And then you hear the sound again, the second that emotion by Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. And then you hear the horn section again on Where Did Our Love Go by the Supremes. So you can see that the horn section is very important and is a bedrock, musical bedrock for soul music. Interesting, you hear the uh, um, horn section on Me and Mrs. Jones. Uh, sax as it introduced the track and then you hear it on Love Train um, and the list goes on of all the records and also the sound of Philadelphia when we last see again by the Three Degrees every one of these sounds actually had an horn section that was part of the musical um, musical group or studio band as you would say and they certainly did a brilliant job of giving these music a special timeless sound and also the whole each different horn section was signature in respect you had the Memphis horn section you have the MFSB band horn section then you have the um, Funk Brothers horn section which included such gentlemen as Paul Reiser on trombone. And uh, the list can go on, but definitely is an example of the legendary and the power of horns in music. And here is an artistic interpretation of that.